What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Wild and Crazy Adventures with your boy OCD. I'm starting to get to the point now where I'm getting into higher weight lifts and more aggressive workouts and I'm just going to show you what I've done here. So this rack is not an ideal rack but for someone with space constraints this is a pretty good rack from what I've been experiencing. Uh, I would like to have a like rogue or um, rep fitness or uh, Sornex type rack system eventually when we get the new house. This is what the rack comes with right here. It doesn't come with this. This is just a, an attachment I'll talk about in a minute. This is what the rack comes with and there's nothing really wrong with it except a few small things. One, it didn't have any protection here so I wrapped this. A couple things I didn't like about this. One, it can roll back and forth. I didn't really love that. Two, the back of this is just not that tall, so I noticed when I'm doing squats or heavy lifts, the bar has to go back in, and it's going, it's traveling, you know what I mean? I don't want to worry about me not having it have enough height in the back for me to slam it back in there. Now, full transparency, this rack itself was like two something. Very cheap, but it's pretty sturdy for what I've done, for what I need. I mean, I'm really not going to go over 500 pounds at, the, at this moment, because uh, that's what I have you know, circulating through different exercises. I won't really go past 500 pounds on this rack at the moment. So for now, it's a great setup to, to get where I want to reach goals-wise. Um, I just don't trust this. Even if this might last, I just, I just don't trust it. I don't, I, I never really liked it. Major issue with this uh, is the holes are not one inch. So when I've been looking for upgrades, I've, I've hit a crossroads where it's like, all right, I know I want to get accessories that have one inch upgrades and that's where this comes in. So I ordered these rep fitness um, cups. I think it was like $49.99, super good price, but you can see size wise, um, you know, if I can give you an idea, the back is definitely uh, larger height wise. Let me see. Um, you know, obviously you could see what it looks like there and you can see what it looks like there. It's a significant difference and what I like about it is the bar sits where it sits. It's, it's when it's here, it's padded, padded, padded. I mean, not like soft, soft pad, but it's not going to mar my finish. It's not going to be able to roll back and forth. So, you know, I was finding myself when I'm about to lift off on, on a bench, I'm pulling it far up here and then, you know, there's just too much play. I'd rather have the J cup and it just looks much better so that's where I've been um, and to achieve this what I had to do was mod the actual um, rack this is not a one inch and these are one inch so as you can see what I ended up having to do um, this is now a one inch hole so I did multiple one inch holes I got two here um, one here is my flat bench and, you know, that's where I was able to put this in. So I just wanted to share with you what I've done, what I've been doing. This is what I've been doing. So I took a step drill bit, have my safety glasses, obviously, and I'm going in and basically just taking my time. And I'm going on one side and I'm going on the other side. And I'm test fitting as I go because I don't want it to be like a loose fit. I don't want it to be like that girl you're with and you're, you know, it's like throwing a hot dog down the hallway. I want it to be as snug as it needs to be where it's nice and solid. Um, and as you can see, this Rep Fitness one was the perfect size. It's set it, it's in there, it's in there good. And I was using it last night, it's incredible. I am very happy, I believe it's rated for way more uh, weight than I'm ever gonna use on this particular rack. But the cool part is, this comes with me because it's a one inch and it's a two by two. You know, I might have a one inch two by two rack system as my secondary, or I might just keep this as a secondary rack system. So here's where we stand. I want to switch up all the rest of the holes um, from here up. From here down, I'm not going to because my safety bars are not a one inch um, hole, and I do keep those intact, but I go from here is the lowest point for like, 
a decline bench press. So I'll leave that there and go on up. So I do have quite a few I want to do um, from here down. Another reason I wanted to do it is because I found this baller ass landmine attachment. Uh, this is actually a sleeve, so it could work on any of the holes, but obviously I'd rather have the one inch sleeve on it so I have you know more of a setup. So as you can see, it doesn't go in here, but it will be on the one inch hole. You know, you line it up and it locks in and you can screw this down in the back. And now I've got the ability to add, there's just, let's just say, there's just a lot more attachments with the one inch peg than not. So doing the holes benefits me more in the long run. Am I gonna sit here and, you know, really film too much about doing it. I might show you one hole getting drilled out. Sounds really perverted. I'll probably keep that on the OnlyFans account. But, you know, you put it in there and that's it. Uh, it's a tedious process because if you go too hard... <laughs> Stop. It's starting to get crazy. If you go too hard, too fast, <laughs> the bit gets stuck. But as you can see, you know, it's not like I'm missing too many. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave the bottom one where it is. That's as low as I'm going to go. So that'll be like my point of reference here. So everything above that. But I do want to keep... I do want to keep that bottom, bottom part open. So I have safety bars. Um, just, just for the sake of it. Uh, I will look into eventually getting better safety bars. What I want is the 24 inch, I believe these are 12s, I want the 24 inch to come out more. But for right now, this is perfect. Uh, this is just gonna be for my uh, flat bench and decline bench, just so I have peace of mind. I'm not really doing crazy decline bench weights, but the flat bench, it, it's getting up there. So peace of mind wise, this is, uh, it's good. And height wise, it's gonna be perfect. So I will leave that there, but as you can see, like you look at the size difference, it's just a big difference. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing, um, and I will keep this uh, for one reason. I will have this probably on the back here somewhere, maybe as high as back here. So I could technically use this as more bar storage. So I could put a bar on the regular thing when I'm storing. I have this down here, which could be for another landmine attachment. I have that can slip in there or bar storage. So that goes up and I have another bar storage and then I can lay a bar across the back of that. So technically I could have plenty of bar storage because I do have my open hex bar that I'm gonna be ordering soon for rep. I have the safety squat bar I just ordered from Rep Fitness and I have the Cambridge Swiss bar that I just ordered. So the Cambridge Swiss bar probably go back there have a nice little place for it to tuck. I'll leave my rogue bar here, and I have um, a secondary bench bar back there, just like a whatever one I came with the weights. And I also have my easy curl bar, but that just sits on my little tree there for now. So yeah, we're gonna see what we could do. I'll film a little bit of it, and I'll show you the final product, and that's it. So I totally forgot that I was <laughs> filming it, but I just knocked out a bunch of these holes. So as you can see, you know, like I said, that was a reference point. So I got all of these up here. So I got one, two, four more, which is technically eight more. I'm gonna stop on this side. You don't wanna go too hard because it does heat up uh, some stuff. And then once I'm done uh, doing that, I'm gonna go through and just file out any little shavings and, uh, and whatnot. I'm just gonna put the camera down and just film uh, something here we'll see now like i said i'm gonna preface this by saying again i'm not a uh professional by any means i'm just some guy that pretends to be on the internet so um you know when i when i tell you to uh do something don't listen to me all the time um this is just a regular brushless milwaukee as I said, I don't know if it'll zoom in here. It'll catch this, I don't know. It's just a step drill bit. It goes up to, you know, one and three eighths. We're just going down to one. So I get to where I think it's good. Then I test fit the uh, hole to make sure it's not 
crazy, so I'll stop here and there. But just real quick, you just go in. It's gonna show you again, technique-wise. Who knows, whatever. But I just, I just blast it like I'm uh, hunting for vagine on prom night. You know what I'm saying? We just go in. Keep checking, make sure we're doing a nice hole here. That's gonna be, that's from the feel of it, should be good. Yep, there you go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight up, knock out these other four right here, go to the back, do those, and then all I'm gonna have left are the top holes here, top holes there, and then uh, we should check back in, hopefully finish this soon and we're just gonna have a almost completely one inch upgraded two by two system okay so took a little bit longer shut up took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to because you know I'm a little bit more OCD and my batteries kept dying and not charging fast enough and I'm impatient so there's a whole slew of things whole slew of reasons why that took a lot longer than it should have so from here up is all one inch holes now on both sides which was a giant pain in the ass but it uh it came out really good i'm excited i cleaned it off the best i could i just vacuumed and air blew things out but yeah that's the setup for right now so there's just a lot of versatility with the setup now it being a two by two with a one inch peg now, I have just a ton of options. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hopefully you enjoy this kind of content. Um, I think it's kind of fun. It's a little behind the scenes into a lot of the stuff that I like to do. But yeah, this is a, this is a completed project for now. Put all my stuff back and uh, we'll see how you guys like it. So, enjoy. Hopefully, uh, you guys like this content. We'll see what happens. Hope everybody's happy, healthy, and humble. I'll see you guys on the next one. Look at this fucking disaster. I gotta go clean. Oh my god.